Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel, he's turning up the volume. He's, he's turning up the heat on Iran. And as the president's deadline, President Donald Trump, his deadline nears on May 12th, Netanyahu is putting pressure on the Iranians. Matter of fact, the Israeli prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, made a fresh call today for an overhaul of the Iranian nuke deal as U.S. President Donald Trump's deadline for further Iranian concessions edges ever closer. Trump has threatened to tear up the entire document that was signed back in 2015 in an agreement that lifted the sanctions on Iran in exchange for curbs in its nuclear activity, unless it's curbs its ballistic missile program by May the 12th. Israel will not allow regimes that seek our annihilation to acquire nuclear weapons. Netanyahu told an audience of diplomats in a speech in Jerusalem. This is why this deal has to be either fully fixed or fully nixed, he said in English. Iran says it is ready to relaunch its nuclear program which the West suspects is designed to produce a bomb if Trump kills the deal. Netanyahu said the 2015 agreement leaves Iran able to quickly reboot its nuclear program to enable military production. This is why President Barack Obama, this six-nation deal was an abomination, really, because it freed up over a billion dollars for the Iranians and allowed the Iranians to start working on nuclear uh, programs and within 10 years freeze them up to have nuclear weapons. Three years is gone already. We're down to seven to go. Bad deal, bad deal. And President Donald Trump has said that repeatedly. Now, Iran is ready to relaunch its nuclear program and Netanyahu said the 2015 agreement leaves Iran able to quickly reboot its nuclear program to enable military production. It gives Iran a clear path to a nuclear arsenal, said Netanyahu. It allows over a few years unlimited enrichment of uranium, the core ingredient required to produce nuclear bombs. The United States delivered much the same message today at a meeting of the Nuclear Non-Prolific Treaty in Geneva. And Christopher Ford, the U.S. Assistant Secretary for International Security and Nonproliferation, said that the Islamic Republic nuclear program remained dangerously close to rapid weaponization. Iran insists it never intended to build nuclear weapons. Yeah, right. What? Yeah, right. So then why do you threaten annihilation of Israel every other day? Why do you constantly say these blasphemous things against the United States? So, you know, again, the hypocrisy of Iran is just off the charts. I'm talking about the the Iranian regime, not all the Iranian people. Matter of fact, there's quite a few Christians in Iran. They're not a part of this. Neither should they be categorized in that same uh, conversation when it comes to the Ayatollah Ali Khomeini and his reckless regime in Iran. And, oh, by the way, Iran is very close partners with the North Koreans. They have always worked together on nuclear ambitions. So Trump will not stop with just North Korea. He'll finish this North Korea deal off. He's, put the, he's brilliantly, masterfully worked the art of the deal on the North Koreans by leveraging the Chinese and threatening the North Koreans and, and, and forcing them to the table and then offering them a way out. It's a brilliant, brilliant move, and I believe he's going to pull it off. Then he'll turn his sights on Iran. That'll be a different set of negotiations, but he's already begun. Meanwhile, there is talk of a third temple to be built in Jerusalem, and there are quite a few Muslim nations that want to see it built. You heard me right. There are quite a few... Muslim monarchies, Muslim nations that want to see the third temple built because they believe it brings peace and harmony into the region 
which in, uh, in their uh, concept means securing the Sunni brand of Islam. So we're going to keep a close eye on all of this. It's very fascinating what's going on. We're truly living in the last days. And um, are you ready? Are you rapture ready? Or are you ready for the uh, situations that's going to take place and the building of the third temple and the prophetic events that will happen just before and just after that of a very significance? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We don't know the day nor the hour he's coming. But I can tell you, I really think I'm going to see the temple built in Jerusalem in my lifetime. Certainly, I certainly, certainly do. And that means you're going to see a change in global governance and the rise of the Antichrist. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. Give your life to Christ.